low level of interest and participation and general apathy of many Ghanaian voters towards local government elections attest to the alienation. This is particularly reflected in the consistently low voter turnout and the 40% in recent local governance elections. Unfortunately, low citizens' interest weakens political accountability at local levels and affects progress on the country's decentralization agenda. As we grapple with the challenges associated with district-level elections in the country, this year's district-level elections are also being taken together with a national referendum exercise which seeks the opinion of citizens on whether or not Article 55.3 of the 1992 Constitution, which is an entrenched clause in the Constitution, should be amended to allow for political parties sponsor uh, sponsorship of candidates in future district level and local government elections. After almost 31 years of our local governance system, the implications of this referendum, uh, referendum outcome on future local governance processes is fundamental and therefore requires all qualified Ghanaian voters to discharge their constitutional duty and make their voices heard on the issue. In line with the objectives of performing electoral transparency, credible electoral outcomes and participatory electoral processes, and with the support from the United States Agency for International Development, USAID, Codeo is carrying out two major interventions to support the December 17, 2019 district level elections and national referendum. As in previous district level elections, Codeo will undertake civic voter peace education activities with the aim of boosting citizens' informed and peaceful participation in the upcoming electoral processes and to promote public trust in electoral outcomes through enhanced election transparency. Mm -hmm.